Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at SVG bar charts with D3. Let's get started. So again, as, as I kind of just said, we're going to be uh, creating an SVG bar chart uh, using D3. Let's go on and do a little bit of our basic setup. Again, we're going to be using um, D3 version 7 here. Uh, we're going to be using our example um, uh, JS file. JavaScript file in here, and we're going to go on and also create up um, some styling in here. So uh, go to the basic um, index.html, and we're going to, um, let's see here, we want SVG uh, rectangle in here, and we want to have it a fill with, um, we'll do a light coral, uh, and then let's also uh, have here um, SVG uh, text and we want to give it a uh, fill of um, let's do uh, let's do light sea green oh, it'll look a little pretty um, <clears throat> now the next thing that we're going to you know what um, also let's add in a couple other things in here sorry uh, let's add in a font here. Let's make it 10 pixels and uh, sans serif. Uh, and then we want a text anchor here. And the text anchor is going to be at the end. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to actually go on and let's create up just some, um, some data points in here. Um, let's do uh, 5, 10... 20 sure um, and then we also want to go and put in a couple um, just some some basic uh, variables okay um, so three of them specifically again we have our data here but then we also have uh, some stagnant uh, static data not stagnant data static so we want to create the width here and uh, this will be 200 um, and again uh, this is going to be the width of the SVG um, and then uh, here, let's also do, you know, let me put in a couple more data points in here. So 40, 60, 80. Sure, why not? Uh, and then let's also <clears throat> do, um, we want a scaling factor in here. And since our data is actually, um, this, this is going to be, definitely way too small um, for when we are wanting to plot something out. Um, we need to actually scale it to a pixel value, okay, that's going to be visible on our screen. So again, like five pixels is just going to be itty bitty and tiny, and we need to want that to be a little bit bigger. So let's go in and give that scaling factor of 10. Uh, and then we want a bar height in here. Uh, and this is actually, um, oh, and then here these need to be bar. Um, and we want a bar height in here. And again, this is going to be a static um, height for our horizontal bars. Um, so let's do 20 for our static. <clears throat> All right, and so the next portion that we're going to be doing in here is uh, creating up just our graph. Uh, and let's do var graph here, uh, d3.select. We want to scrap the body. Uh, dot append in here. Uh, we want to give it an SVG because again we're making an SVG bar chart. And then we also want to add in um, an attribute here of width, width with um, the width. And then we want uh, the attribute here of height here with our bar height um, multiplied by our data dot length. Okay, so then again, if once once we know, for example, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going to actually multiply this out by six in this instance. So then we can later on, we'll be able to change this um, dynamically. Uh, later on. So if you want to add in uh, more data points, it will accommodate those data points as you go along. <clears throat> uh, and let's 
uh, see what else we want in here. Um, let me end that one. Okay, and so let's let's um, go on and also add in each bar itself. Okay, so uh, bar bar in here. We want to grab our graph. We want to select all here of G. So again, we're we're making those G some some sort of graphic element in here. We want to group all of them together. Uh, and let's do uh, data of data because again, we called our data in here data and maybe we should have you know what let me um call this um bar data so that we have it as something else um bar data so then the next uh thing after we actually bind that data we want to again have this enter so that we know that it's accessible to us dot append G for each of those elements. Okay, so it's going to dynamically create them as we need them. And then we need to add in um, a little bit of a transformation. Okay, and so we'll have the attribute here, transform here, and this is going to be a function of um, the data and the index. And we'll do something like return here, translate zero. Oh, and you know what? I need to. I want to make this a little bit cleaner. Yeah, this will be good. Uh, translate zero comma, and then here we want to add in, add in the index uh, multiplied by our bar height, and then add in here again that closing bracket or bracket um, the closing uh, parenthesis there. Okay, and this is going to create up each of our bar charts again once it's been transformed. <clears throat> um, and so in this instance, for example, um, if let me kind of give a bit of an example in here, because again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right, items in here. So then if each of these bar heights, okay, are taken at 20, all right, then I'm going to ask you guys, how, how big do you think, for example, that this, uh, this bar height itself will actually wind up being the SVG height itself? Okay, so if it was, if we had, if we had three in here, it would be 60. Okay, so if we have six in here, we're going to have 120. All right, so this, the, the height of this SVG should be 120. So <clears throat> the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to place bars inside of uh, these G elements, okay? So we already have created the, our group, whoops, our group of elements, okay? We've already created the bar, okay? Uh, now we need to go on and uh, append in the rectangles, okay? So again, now maybe maybe let me also talk about this translate function here, okay? This transfer, um, this, again, for each of these elements, all right, we need to actually put in the position oh, one below the other, okay? So again, we're, we're having the each of these bars, each being one below the other one, all right? And again, we're going to have to do this with our horizontal bar. So our translation formula is, again, this index multiplied by the bar. Height. Okay, so then that's going to help translate it down. So let's do this now with uh, bar dot append. Here we want our uh, to add in an append on a rectangle, uh, and I'm gonna go on and yeah, yeah, one. yeah. I'll just put it up here for now. Um, grab in our attribute in here again. We want the width. Uh, and then again, we need to put in some function in here where we're going to return D multipl multiplied by uh, the scaling factor, okay? Because again, our, um, our points in here, so for example, this five pixels, five pixels is just gonna be simply too small for us, okay? So we want the size to be scaled correctly. So all of them are going to look correct. When we're when we are doing this, so again, this first one here would be something like uh, 50. Then this one would look like 100. This one would look like 200, etc. Um, and again, maybe we want to change the width of this to bigger later on. Well, we'll play with it and see. Um, so 
now we need to also add in here um, another attribute which is the height and again this needs to be the bar height minus one okay and this uh, this uh, subtracting this out is going to give us a, a little bit of uh, it's going to help us with the margin okay because the margin itself is going to be one pixel um, so now let's also go on and append the text okay so it takes some position X which again is going to be some function of D and it's going to um, return in here D multi multiplied by our scale factor okay so it's going to be right at the end uh, then we also want oh, go inside here and put that ending um, and then let's also go on and I don't like the way that this is looking. Let me put that in. Put that in. Sorry, a little little bit of OCD going on in there, but that's okay. Um, so the next one, we need Y. In here and Y itself is going to be the bar height divided by 2 uh, then we want here dy and again here is uh, well let's add in an emphasis 3 5 2 yeah. a little bit of padding uh, we want text in here and again this text is just going to be um, a function of D and we want it to actually return out this number okay so the actual value itself we don't want to multiply by or anything or whatnot we just want the actual value itself um, so let's see about how this looks again if if I didn't have any typos in here so let's go on and start up our server mm. and I'll put it on 8080 right now um, so localhost 8080 uh, and we want what, what did what did I call this uh, SVG bar chart Oops, oops, and let me refresh. Ref mm, save, save, go back, refresh. All right, let's double check what we are missing in here. Okay, so let's kind of look around and see where we went. And so one thing I can, oops, let me double check. Let me refresh this here real quick uh, for the old stuff and let me right click and let me inspect in here and so let's actually take a look and see what's happening so first off we see that we actually created up our SVG but then it broke right after we created our SVG okay so see here it's this SVG width is 200 so let's go up 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 and alright so it selected and appended the SVG so we also know that it set the width. Okay, it set the width. So then we know that the height here hasn't been set. So then we know that something broke here. Um, okay, so right here is where the, the issue the issue arises at. Okay, so here notice I remember I changed this to bar data instead of just data. So this is bar data. So then if we go back over and we refresh, oh, all right, good. So that means we must have another typo. And if I look here, so it's highlighting that that SVG chart, great. But then I notice something a little fishy here. I have supposedly all of my bars in there, but they're not doing anything. Notice you can actually see the height of them change. Whenever I highlight them, you can see it up top there. Notice that blue is highlighting and you can see where they're supposed to be 
All right, and so a couple things that are this is telling me. One is that, well, I can see here that translate is misspelled, so it didn't do the translation properly. Two, notice here, this is this little uh, blue box here is what the 120 is. Now, if we keep going, 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 notice here that our transformation definitely uh, needs to be larger, right? So then uh, maybe we want to make our our width a little bit larger. Um, so let's see here. We have our width of 200. Oh, first off, let's change that translate. So, because I misspelled translate. And we can actually go over here and refresh. All right, we have everything, but notice, again, those bars are definitely not pretty, right? Look at this. A after the third bar, they're definitely way too big. So. Let's go on and uh, let's make our width 900 instead. Um, and our bar height, let's make them 50 so that we just make everything just a little bit bigger. Mm. And, we'll, and we'll, we'll look here. I think we may want to change this as well. All right, so now. Yep. Oh, we have all of them. Um, our text is a little hard to read. You can zoom in here and you can see that, yeah, that's 80, but that's definitely hard to read. So maybe we want to change the coloring on that. And maybe let's just change it to, uh, let's actually make it a little bit larger. Let's say 20 pixels. There we go. And again, it's still hard to read. So maybe let's just go in and change it to black for now. And so now you can actually see them. Here they're going 5, 10, 20, 40, uh, 60, 80. Okay, so, and that does, and that covers all of our data, correct? Yep. Uh, so now we've actually created up just a very basic bar chart. Okay, again, we're using in here just some, um, some fabricated data. I hope you guys like this. If you did, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.